Back again to YouTube. Picked up a uh, junk car off something. Let me see if we can get it into the camera here. Dodge. Anyways, you, you, we come across these vehicles all the time. And it's. They say that, uh, you know, who I'm not going to name names on the towing companies and stuff. But, like, is there no honest garage left or towing company left? This lady that owned this car thought that the axle was broken and then it's it's no longer worth being fixed because of the high repair bills. But we informed them, at least I do, I looked at it, it's, it's a broken tie rod. You know, what's a tie rod end gonna cost? The garage, you know? 20 to 50 bucks. And then, you know, another 50 in labor bills or something. I feel bad for these people that, that get raked over the coals and garage bills for, for, for no reason. Like, I don't know how these garages and, and towing companies, and not all of them, there's there's some true honest ones out there, but to, to rake somebody over the coals like this, lie to them, charge them a huge, you know, or to give them a huge estimate on something that, that really that car could be back on the road for 150 bucks. And in today's economy, the way, the way inflation is with everything, like, why not let's work together and try to be honest with people? Then trying to pay trying to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to get your car going so that you can continue to make it to work. Honesty is the way the way the way I was always raised. And it's like you, you try to be honest with people. What's wrong with being honest? You know what I mean. If, you, if you're honest with people, like, yeah, maybe, maybe you're not making as much money as these other garages that are ripping people off blindly because they don't know any better. But at the end of the day, like, you can go to sleep at night knowing that you did the right thing. I, I don't know. Day, day two rant for me.